Hey, what's up guys? Jose here at ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a complete pulley system for your home gym. You're going to learn how to do a cable crossover, a high pulley, and a low pulley. And the best part about this is that most of the material you can find at your local hardware store, and it only costs around 60 bucks. So here's everything you're going to need. Most of this stuff you're going to find at your local hardware store. If you don't find it, I'm going to leave the links in the descriptions down below so that you can pick them up online. So the first thing is this wire, this metal wire that's coated in vinyl. You're going to need two of those. I got mine at uh, 10 feet each just to make sure I wasn't short. So you're going to need two of those. Next thing you're going to need are two pulleys with a swivel on top. Make sure you get that swivel because that makes it easier to move around. And make sure that you read the weight capacity, okay? Depending on how much you lift, make sure you pick one up that's, that's going to support that weight. Now you're going to need four spring clips or four carabiners and make sure that whatever size you pick up, it's going to fit this little hole on top of the swivel here, okay? Because you're going to be using those for the pulleys. So you're going to need four of these, two of the, of the pulleys with swivels. You're going to need some of these straps. These straps come in packs of eight, very cheap, about seven bucks. And I'm going to leave a link right below this, this video. You're going to need a clamp and thimble set to tie down the cables at the end. And we're gonna need four, four thimbles and eight clamps. And then this one over here is optional. This one is called a Delta Quick Link and this is what I use for my loading pin. It's optional. Everything else you're gonna need and you're gonna see how simple this is when we get once we get it all started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make a loop at the end of each cable. The cable should look like this at the end. You know you're doing it right when it looks like a dog. Here's, here's the dog's head. You have two legs in the front, two legs in the back, and then the dog's tail. If the legs end up on top like this, if the, if the dog has his tail in between his legs, then you know you did it wrong. So make sure it looks like a dog and then you'll be on the right path. So this is very simple. First thing you want to do is you want to start off by putting the cable through the pulley. The reason you do this first is because if you were to do the loop first, then you would have to take the pulley apart in order to put it on here. And it's not difficult, however, it's just an additional step. So make sure you put in the pulley first, get that out of the way, and then the rest is very simple. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna insert each of these clamps, two clamps, put them in the cable. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure and you turn these the right way. Remember, the tail is going to go on top, so the feet have to go down. So all you're going to do now is make a loop, put it through the clamps here, just like so, and then keep pushing all the way until it's inside both clamps. And what you're going to do is just basically keep making the loop smaller until you get the thimble in there. And the thimble ends up very tight, as well as these. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and screw on the, the nuts here until you make them, very, make them very tight. And of course, at the end, it should look like the doggy. All right, so I'm going to show you how to create the loading pin. You're going to need a strap for this and a weight plate, small weight plate. I have a two and a half pound here. You can use a five pound, 10 pound, anything small. Or my personal favorite is a Delta Quick Link. Now, this is optional. You don't have to use this. So I'm going to show you the free version if you already have a plate. All you're going to do is you're going to stick the strap through the hole and then you're going to thread it through itself until you end up with this. Now what's going to happen is that whenever you need to lift the weight, all you're going to do is you're going to stick this, the strap through the hole of the weight that you want to lift up and then you have the loading pin. This is going to be holding the weight. Now that's the free version if you already have smaller weight plates. Now let me show you the version that I, I like to use. And as you can see here, the Delta Quick Link has an opening. So what I like to do is I like to insert both ends of the loop through there. I'm going to close this down. And then the strap's going to be small. Now I'm going to put it under the weight through the hole. And now I have my loading pin there as well. So this is what the setup for the cable crossover looks like. At the top, we have two pulleys one on each end of the pull-up bar. And then as we work our way down here, you're gonna see that the two cables connect on the bottom to the loading pin where we have to wait down there. And on the sides, what we have is a handle created by the straps. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the whole process so, yeah, so that you can see how I set all of this up. The cable crossover requires both cables and we're going to set each one up on each corner of the pull-up bar. I've already set this one up over here. They both are set up the same way so I'm only going to show you on this side. You're going to need a few things here. We're going to need one strap. We're going to need a carabiner and also one of the cables that we already have set up initially. All right, so we're going to start up with the strap. So the strap, all you have to do is throw it on top of the bar and you're going to wrap it around the bar here as much as you can. And the reason for this is we want to make it as tight as possible so that when we attach the pulley here, we don't have a big swing so that we avoid the weight swinging so much. So now after that, what we do is we're going to get the carabiner, clip it onto both ends here of the strap. And then all we have to do is attach the pulley to the carabiner and we're all set. So down here, all we have to do is connect both cables together at the middle and we do that through the loading pin down here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull one of these down, connect it to the carabiner, do the same with the other one, connect it with the carabiner. Now they're both connected at the middle. Now the only thing left is to put a strap through here, through this little hole at the end to create our strap. So you put the strap in, pull it through, then what you're going to do is you're going to thread it through itself and then pull down and then you have your strap. And that's all there's to it. Now you have the double pulley, you have the cable crossover and it's ready to be used. So this is the setup for the high pulley. Very simple to do. This is the easiest one to set up. You have a pulley on the top and only one cable. At one end of the cable, you have a strap that we're gonna use as a handle. And then on the bottom, we have the loading pin with the weight. Now I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of setting it up. All right, in this step, I'm gonna show you how to set up the high pulley. Again, very simple. We need a strap. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the cable crossover. You toss it around as many times as you can until you get the small loops at the end. And then all you're gonna do is you're going to grab your carabiner again and you're going to hook it to both of these straps and then we have our cable ready to use. At the bottom of the high pulley, all you have to do now is connect one of these cables to the loading pin down here. So I'm gonna grab the cable in the back, connect it to the loading pin and then the other cable, I'm gonna go ahead and bring down here and all you have to do now is connect the strap to it, put the strap through the end hole there and then it's ready to use. We can use this for lap pull downs and other exercises as you can see right there. Pretty simple to set up. This is the high pulley. So you're looking at the setup for the low pulley. So we're gonna have a carabiner right here on the bottom. This is gonna be the low pulley. And then we're gonna have the other carabiner up here on the top. Okay, so let me walk you through the whole setup here. So right at the bottom, we have the weight with the loading pin. We have a cable attached to it by a carabiner. We work our way up, the cable goes through the pulley where it connects again to another carabiner and that carabiner connects to the other cable, goes down through the pulley into the handle here where we have a strap. So that's how the low pulley works. Now that you see an overview, I'm going to walk you through the whole setup. So for the low pulley, you're going to set up the pulley right in the corner just like we've done in the past two pulley systems. You're just going to wrap the strap around the pole as much as you can. You got your carabiner here and then you have your pulley with the cable attached to it. So at the bottom of that cable, you're going to grab one of the cable ends and you're just going to connect it to the carabiner that's connecting to the loading pin and that's the bottom. All right, so over here, I'm at the opposite end of the rack. We're on the opposite end, that cable. You see there is the first cable we set up that goes to the top of the rack. Now we're going diagonally to the bottom. So what we're going to need here is we're going to need a strap we're going to need a carabiner and then the other cable with the pulley already on it. So first thing you're going to do is toss the strap around the rack. You're going to thread it through itself. And now we're going to have the carabiner here inserted. And then that carabiner is going to connect to our pulley. So now we have our low pulley. We have the high pulley over there in the other corner. So the last thing we have to do is we have to connect the cable up here that goes to the top to the cable down there on the other corner and we do that by using a carabiner. So you're going to insert the carabiner through that end loop. You're going to grab the other end here of the cable, the other cable, and insert it through that 
same carabiner. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start doing your low pulley exercises. I already have a strap down here at the other end. So all you have to do now is just start the exercises. And this is your low pulley. So there you have it guys. Now you know how to create a high pulley, low pulley, and a cable crossover. I hope you liked the information in this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'm gonna leave a list of the materials right below this video just in case you can't find the materials at your local hardware store. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.